If you are not using a WooCommerce one-page checkout like this to sell your products, then you are definitely losing sales unnecessarily. And if you continue to not implement one of these in your store, you will continue to lose sales and endure other problems. Your conversion rates will be lower than they should be. Your advertising will cost more than it should. You'll lose customers to your competitors and your customers won't buy from your store again in the future. These are problems that happen when your checkout experience is not optimized to convert. People land on your website, get overwhelmed and abandon their carts, leaving you with no sales and empty pockets. And these are big issues which can lead to stores closing down. Thankfully, a one-page checkout fixes a lot of the issues that cause people to abandon their carts during your checkout. In fact, our customer Jake converted his conventional checkout experience into this one-page checkout solution and his conversion rates increased by 57%. Consider this. If you have a particular product or offer that you want your customers to purchase and to buy that product, you send your customers to a product page on your WooCommerce store. To buy that one product, your customers must add the product into their cart, view the cart on the cart page, then click to go to checkout and complete your checkout form. That's a lot of jumping between pages just to buy that one offer. And that's a lot of reasons for your customers to abandon their carts and not buy your products. When you use a one-page checkout, your customers learn everything that they need to know about your product from that page. And when they're ready, they can purchase a product from that page. There's no jumping between different pages and waiting for pages to load. This streamlined checkout experience is much less confusing for customers to use, is easier to purchase from using a mobile phone, and keeps your customers laser focused on what you're selling them and where they can put their credit card information to buy that product when they're ready. And because of this, you'll see higher conversion rates and more people buying your products. And what's great is that one-page checkouts are great for selling both physical products and digital products. However, a one-page checkout should not completely replace your default checkout. You should really be combining your default checkout with one-page checkouts to really maximize your conversion. And I'll show you how to do that later on in today's video. So let me show you how to set up a one-page checkout in your WooCommerce store, starting with step one. As with all good things in WordPress, the first step is going to be installing the plugin that we're gonna be using. So down here, let's go to plugins and then add new plugin. And over on the right hand side, you wanna search for funnel kit. You can see under the funnel kit brand, there's a lot of different plugins here. For today's video, we're going to be concerned with this plugin here, funnel builder for WordPress by funnel kit. I already have this installed and activated on my website. For today's video, we will also be using the pro version of the Funnel Kit plugin. So I already have that installed, but if you wanna see what you do get in the pro version, head on over to the website and click on pricing. And down here in the pricing table, you can see a list of all the different features that are included with each of the different plans. With both the light version and pro version installed in my website, the next thing we need to do is build our checkout page. To do so, let's go down to Funnel Kit and then to Funnels. Then let's click create new funnel. And for today's video, I'm gonna to choose to design our funnel starting from blank. This way you get more of an idea of how this works and how you could set this up in your website from scratch. So here I'll click start from blank. I'll give my funnel a name. And then inside of this funnel, we need our checkout page where we can capture the credit card information. I'll also be showing you in today's video how to add one-click post-purchase upsells, which are a great way to get your customers buying more products in each order. So we'll add that. And then lastly, we'll add a thank you page, which shows the customer what they bought during checkout. I'll click done. And now we have our three steps in our funnel. For today's video, we're gonna be somebody offering an online course that teaches people how to build better habits. And all of our upsells and order bumps are going to be related to helping people build better habits. Starting with our checkout step, let's go ahead and design this to sell our online course. So here I'll click into our checkout step and under the design tab for today, I'm also gonna be using Elementor. So with it selected, I could start from blank and build it up from scratch inside of Elementor. But for today, I'm gonna to scroll down and choose the closer template. I really like that this template is laid out to be conversion focused with a big headline 
a video here, a big call to action button, and the order form right there on the page above the fold. Down the bottom here, we also have some details about what this person is getting when they purchase this online course. And a feature that's included inside of the pro version with Funnel Kit is the ability to have a multi-step order form. So here we're seeing a one step here. If I go to two, this is what it looks like here. And we could also even have a three step. For today, I'm gonna select two and then click import this template. And if we scroll up the top, I can click edit elemental template to begin to design our page. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use Elementor to customize this template to be about the online course. And here's the final result of editing this template to be about the online course. Now, you can obviously go and build this as complex as you want inside of your builder, adding as many sections as you want, or even stripping it back to be as simple as you want. It's really up to you how you design the page. But the key thing that makes all of this work is that this is your sales page and checkout page all in one. Back here under our checkout step, with the design of our one page checkout now complete, let's head on over to products and click add product to start adding the products that our customers can purchase from this one page checkout. Here I'll search for our better habits online course and then select it. And here I'm gonna search for that again and select this second product, which is for a payment plan. Then I'll go ahead and click add. And from this column here, you can see the first product is a simple product where we allow customers to buy the online course for one upfront payment of $250. And also if our customers wanna go ahead and pay this off over multiple months, they could select the second option here, which is a WooCommerce subscription product, which allows them to buy this course at $100 per month for three months. I'll go over here and click save. And then let's go back to our design tab and scrolling down, we need to customize our order form. This process is very simple. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping. So because these are digital products, we don't need to get shipping information from them. So I'll go ahead and remove this section. And here I'm going to rename this section to choose your plan and click update. And I'm gonna drag this up above the customer information. We can go ahead and remove the shipping address and the rest of these fields look fine. Heading on to step two, we're gonna show a summary of what the customer is about to pay for, and then we output the payment gateways where they input their credit card information or choose PayPal or whatever else they wanna pay with. Let's go ahead and save this and then preview the page. And here's what we have so far and some of the things that we're gonna change in a second. So firstly, this tab says shipping. These are virtual products, so I'll show you how to change that. Then our customer can choose how they want to pay, which is the single payment here for $250. We're gonna remove this quantity field there because obviously we don't want them buying multiple of the same online course. The second option here is $100 a month for three months. Then we list what's included in their plan. I'll show you how to add details to that in a second. Then we capture their details. The email field here is put first intentionally. So that's the first field that they fill out in case they decide to abandon their cart. This way you have a way to contact them and get them back onto your website and purchasing at a later date. Then down here, let's go and proceed to the next step. They can review their order summary. Then they can input their payment details and then click place order now. So coming back to that first tab, let's go ahead and tidy up this form here. Back here inside of the form builder, let's click on products. And I'm firstly going to update this field here to make a little bit more sense. And same with the second option. Then let's head on over to the description tab. And what we put in here is what shows under here. You could do something like this, which would look something like this. But I actually think for today, I'm just gonna disable that section entirely. Heading to advanced, let's enable the best value tag. And we're going to put that on our single upfront payment, which works out better value for our customers. We'll also hide the quantity incrementer and click update. Now, if we go ahead and click save, let's scroll up and edit our template, click on our form and update the first tab to say your info and enter your details. And step two looks fine. Let's click update. And here's our final order form with all of those changes. The best value tag, our descriptions here for the products, a nice, neat, compact order form and step two, reviewing what they're about to purchase, their payment method, and then place their order. This is super straightforward and right in front of their face when the page loads, they can't miss it. Also worth pointing out, if we scroll to the bottom and click on this button, that's gonna scroll the customer back to this order form. 
So at this stage, we've pretty much completed creating our WooCommerce one page checkout. If you wanted to stop it here, all you would need to do is drag your thank you page up here after your checkout page, click to your thank you page, then select a design that you like, go ahead and import this template, and then click to edit that template, customize the design, save the page, and just like that, people could land on your WooCommerce one page checkout, choose their plan, put in their details, go to the second step, review their order, choose how they wanna pay, and then click to place their order, taking them directly to the thank you page. But I wanna show you how to use some of the premium features inside of FunnelKit Pro to go ahead and make more money per order using this setup here. So the first thing that we're going to do is drag the thank you step down the bottom so that when people complete the order form on our one page checkout, they see our post purchase upsells and then the thank you page. On our checkout step here, let's go ahead and add an order bump, which is an upsell on our checkout form. Here I'm going to clone an existing order bump that I have inside of this website, which is my habit tracking sheet. I'll click add and then I'll click save. If you want more details on how to set up order bumps in your store using FunnelKit, head to our YouTube channel where we have specific videos that run you through each of the different settings here and all the different screens. I'll go back. And lastly, let's add an upsell. I'll click into this offer. I'll rename it to be about the community that we're upselling access to. I'll scroll down the page and select a template that I'd like to use for my one click upsell. And then I'll click import this template. Under the products tab, I'll add a product and here I'm upselling access to my monthly membership group, which is my private community. And that's a subscription product at $29 per month. I'll go ahead and save and then head on over to the design tab and edit my design. I'll update the design to match my offer. Here's what our final funnel looks like in the admin area. Oh, and another feature that I wanna point out here that you can access from this screen is the canvas mode, which allows you to build your entire sales funnel in this visual format. A really useful feature if you like to see things visually in a view like this. And here's all of that in action as we go through and do a test order. So I wanna wrap up this video by showing you some really cool features that you can use inside FunnelKit to make more money from the people that are landing on your one page checkout. So the first thing that I wanna show you is the built-in A-B testing feature. So here we have our checkout page that we designed in today's video. If we come over to the right and click on A-B test and click create A-B test, we can come over to the three dots here and click duplicate. And let's send 50% of people to each of these different checkout page designs. So the page that we designed today is original. Let's click to edit this variant. But what I'm gonna do in this variant is just click to edit this design. And for this second variant, I'm gonna go ahead and change this headline to this one because I wanna see which headline causes a higher conversion rate and I'll click update. And then I'll click to start my A-B test. Now we have analytics for our A-B test here, or we could also go to the analytics for our entire funnel and see all the different steps inside of our funnel, as well as our original variant. And here's that second variant down there. And we can see which one gives us the most conversions at the best conversion rate to make us the most profit. And the final tip is when should you use a WooCommerce one page checkout versus your conventional e-commerce checkout experience where your customers can add products into their cart and then continue to the cart page and the checkout page. Your conventional checkout is great for people that are browsing the web and they land on your website because you haven't directed them to go to your website and take a specific action. So they can browse freely around your website, read your about us page and add a mix of any products that they want to buy in their order. When you wanna send people directly to your website to look at a specific offer that you're selling or a product that you're selling, you want to send them to a one page checkout. Usually when you set up a one page checkout, there's no header up the top to distract your users and get them clicking to other parts of your website. They land here and they're focused on what you're trying to sell them, the benefits of the offer. And right here is the form that they can use to purchase that specific product or offer. 
Everything that we looked at in today's video are just some of the many powerful features included with the Funnel Kit plugin. Other features include the ability for you to design high converting checkout pages, easily add one click upsells to boost your average order value, and so much more. To start making more profit with your WooCommerce store, head to our pricing page to see our current deals. 